one minute to go. As a reminder, we can we can hold at T minus forty. We're not planning to. All right. We're through T minus forty. Let's listen in. Flight director Ty Huntington back in the seat. Take us through the final second. Two minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Go Super Heavy. Go Starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, Pad One. Eagles catch you downrange. Booster Raptor chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship nominal power and telemetry. All right, we are about 45 seconds into flight. We're still getting the rattle here at Star Factory. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it arcs across the Gulf. Coming up next on Max Q. Max Q. So at this point, we've passed through that period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. The next thing we're looking forward to is going to be hot staging. So we've got 33 out of 33 Raptors lit. Super Heavy makes its way uphill. Hot staging is going to be coming up uh, in just a little over a minute. At that point, we're going to see all but three of those Raptor engines on Super Heavy shut down. Our version of Miko. Uh, most engines cut off instead of main engine. And then after that, we're going to release the clamps that are currently holding Starship to that hot stage adapter. It's then going to ignite its six Raptor engines to push it away from Super Heavy and then start making its flight uphill. So in about 30 seconds, we're going to see the engine start to shut down on Super Heavy. You'll see them kind of shut off in separate banks until we've just got those three center engines that never stop running for this process and then looking for six ship raptors all right miko coming up in about 10 seconds see the engines throttling down who's running cut off Ship ignition. Stage separation. Use back burn startup. All right, successful hot staging maneuver. So we've got 12 of the 13 engines lit back up on booster, so it's doing its boost back. Real, real excitingly, ship though, we've got six out of six Raptors lit on ship there, so it's now going to continue to make its ascent into outer space. Meanwhile, this boost back is happening. We're using those 13 engines, uh, so everything, well, 12 out of the 13, and then we go down to three, and then we're going to shut down for the end of boost back. That's sending super heavy back ship towards its planned Colorado splashdown Central. zone in the Gulf. Right after we finish this boost back burn, we're also going to separate the hot stage. This will be the final time boost that we're doing this. Is All right, there's the end of the boost back burn. We should be seeing the hot stage. There. 
So the hot stage separates. It's going to make its way down. Also splash down in the Gulf. In the meantime, though, these six ship raptors are going to continue fire, firing for about five more minutes. Next up for the booster, though, is going to be its landing burn. There's a cool tracking shot. We dump some of the prop out on our way back in. All right, so for booster, this is one of the main things we're trying to get is going to be this landing burn. Oh, that's so you can see the hot stage kind of making its way towards the very the left side. So that's the bottom of the booster. It's about to pass right in front of where you can see some of that prop dump happening. They look like they're close together, but there's a good amount of distance between them. And the hot stage will go down and splash down in the gulf while the booster comes back for its landing burn. Starship is on nominal trajectory. All right. Looking good on our trajectory, looking good on everything. Jake and Amanda, you guys with me down there? Yeah, definitely. The crowd is, is gathering over here in the office. You can definitely feel the energy in here. Um, great to see that booster is making its way down to the splashdown zone in the Gulf. Yeah, the shaking down here was absolutely nuts. The windows are still there, still intact. So <laughs> that was pretty awesome. But yeah, booster's coming down. We're at about 30 booster kilometers, about... Sick. All right, yeah, and as we approach that landing, uh, just like tower catches, we will be doing a 13-engine landing burn to slow down. This time it will be in a V3 configuration. And as we're starting to get into the denser part of the atmosphere, the booster is using four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric entry towards its landing site. And we're just Should about 20 seconds away from landing burn start where we'll ig first ignite the center 13 engines then bring that down to five to slow down the booster for landing and finally that will come down to three and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters in the air so booster is going to see a bit of a part of it booster landing will start up Anywhere shut down. And there we heard it. Booster landing burn shut down. We saw a 13 to 5 to 3 V3, V3 demonstration. And into the water we go. Wow. That was absolutely awesome. If you can even hear us right now, congrats to the whole <laughs> SpaceX team. So far, so good for today. That was incredible. <laughs> All right, great stuff, guys. I'm jealous of the crowd. All right, back to ship. Ship's still making its way. We've got a little under two minutes left in this ascent burn, so we've got all six Raptor engines still firing. So the next the next major milestone we're going to be looking for is Seco. That's our second stage engine cutoff. That's uh, should be coming right at about 8 minutes and 58 seconds into flight. So we've got about a minute 20 still to go. Really cool to see Booster go through that uh, that landing burn. That was one of our like really key demonstrations we wanted to try and do today. Um, is that's mimicking what we're going to be hopefully doing. Oh, we just got our sonic boom, it sounds like, from the Booster <laughs> coming back. All right, less than a minute to go. So we are going to see the three RVACs, the vacuum-optimized engines, shut down first, and then we'll shut down those three center engines. So we should be a little under a minute until SECO. Just a reminder, this is putting us into a suborbital trajectory, so we're intentionally just going slow enough that we're not going to achieve full orbit. This puts us on a course where those engines shut off, and no matter what, we're coming back. Starship is internal zone. guidance in the Indian Ocean. All right, terminal guidance. So we should start seeing the shutdowns come up in just a couple seconds, less than 30 seconds to go in the ship ascent burn. All right, our vacs have shut off. Three more to go. Ship engine cut off.
All right. All ship raptors have shut nominal down. Nominal orbit insertion. You just heard nominal orbital insertion. So we are on the path that we wanted to be. So we've got a ship back in space. A whole lot ship planned FCC. for it. Lots more still to come. Great seeing Super Heavy make its way to the water. Uh, but I'm excited to see what ship can do in space. How's everybody doing down there? Yeah, if you could hear the crowd behind us this whole time, people are definitely happy with how the day's been panning out so far. Definitely exciting to see Starship safely in space and super pumped to see all the team's hard work in action here today. Yeah, and we guaranteed it at the start of the show, but it has been an awesome day so far. It's crazy. All this has happened in just 10 minutes. All the objectives were met on the booster, including that V3 style landing burn. So now all eyes are on the ship as we get ready for our in-space objectives. But we've got a few minutes until that next milestone, so sit tight, enjoy the views, enjoy the Space Jams. We'll be back at T plus 16 minutes for payload deploy. 